Okay, this is my very first uh, 3D printing video. This is the Aquila Pro. So we'll get this opened up and get it put together. So I already have an Aquila X2, which is a really good printer for the cost. So we have these tips. All right, helpful tips. Is it really important for me to show you each item one by one that came in the box? No. It isn't. You're not a little kid and I don't need to show you everything so I'll just speed through this so you can get through this. Uh, it's only gonna last till I'm done talking and then we'll move on. All right let's see if we can get you in there. Take a peek inside the box. All right there it is so I'm gonna go ahead and set it on the floor and pull everything out. I'm just going to put the box down here, lift the parts out and put it on here one by one, and I'm going to stare right, at this. Set this back right there. I'm trying not to waste your time here and just speed through all the unnecessary stuff. The manual. I'm not usually one to look at the manual, but let's just see what it says. Put the gantry on. All right, we're going to do that. The manual that comes with this printer does not include everything. It doesn't have the information on the leveling or the Z calibration. Okay, it looks like it's a four millimeter. Yep. The screw is a four millimeter hex head. All right, I went and got my own four millimeter. So, I'm not gonna go over this whole thing. I mean, you guys know what a 3D printer is. I'll show you the bottom. Okay, whatever, there's the bottom. Okay. That seems to be in there sturdy enough. Okay, so we'll go ahead and connect the, uh, the motor, the Z axis motor. Let's get the other one connected. Get that exposed in there. All right, let's look at the manual. I don't want to go grabbing the wrong things, so. Okay, so it says install the screen, step number two. So let's get the screen installed. Right there. Um, okay. It says to screw it into the bottom. It says to pass this through here first, I guess, like that. I don't know. It just says pass it through. It just says pass it through. Pass the display cable through the cable fix buckle firstly. Then connect it to the screen. Okay, so I got the firstly part done. Okay, so if you look here, you can see all the pins are on the bottom. So you want the blue side facing up and the connectors on this facing down. So let's get this. Okay. There we go. Wow, oh, that's a steep angle. Okay, that seems to be. Come on. 
Oh, I got the wrong size screws. I'm using the wrong size. that part done now it says to put Ugh. okay so my shelf is not tall enough to put this on top so um, I'll figure something out adjust the synchronous belt so manually rotate the X and Y axis tensioners to the appropriate tightness Press the synchronous belt to fill its tension. Okay, so, so I'll tighten this. There's, you can barely, I mean, the belt is in the aluminum extrusion. It's hanging out a little bit. Adjusted the belts. Wire connection. Okay. So let's do the Z limit switch. Okay, right here is the connection. Only goes in one way because of that tab. There we go. That's done. Let's Turn this back around. Okay. Okay, we got that mo Z motor. We got the other Z motor already. Um, okay, so this. So, the mistake I made when I initially put together my Aquila X2 is I didn't untwist the cables that uh, went into the print head. So, insert the extruder cable in the extruder. Yeah. So, it shows us coming up through here. Okay, so. Ah. This, okay, so. Oh, what the heck? Okay. This seems kind of counterintuitive or whatever. Is you have to put the connector. They have this piece upside down in there. There's only one way this goes in, so you put it in upside down. I think it would be better if okay, the cable's like this. Huh? Oh, right. Maybe run this cable through that way instead of this way or something. Stupid mosquito, get, get the hell out of here mosquito. Oh, damn it, I caught it. All right, so the extruder cable's plugged in. We got filament sensor. Well, look at that. You got PTFE going from the filament sensor to the, uh, to the extruder. Um, now, Now, what we need to do, so I'm going to lower the Z a little bit. Uh-huh. I only really, really need to lower one side. Okay. So, now, this cable goes in here, but I don't want to... Let's turn this around. Again. Okay, we want to make sure we have the cables unwound correctly so that we don't have an issue. So this cable comes in here, plugs in, and snaps right into place. Now, PTFE tube. So it looks like so this cable is gonna drag down and you know probably get on your bed and probably get snagged on something. So what we'll do is we'll wrap this cable around the uh, 
PTFE tube and push in the tube and that should keep it out of the way. Uh, let's see. Let's wrap one more time. Here we go. Three times around the PTFE tube. Is that going to be too much? I don't know. We'll see. We'll play it by ear. Okay. Oh. Okay, we got to make sure the voltage is set correctly. Okay. You see right in here, it is set to 115, so we're good to go. Let's get the power cord out. Board goes right there. Then okay. right, plugged in. Okay. Unwind the cord. And plug the cord in right here. So. The reason why I have, in case anybody knows, is I have these outlets upside down. The reason why is if a cable ever, you know, pops out, comes loose, and something falls, it hits the ground instead of the power. So let me take the, that's cool, you have these clips to take the plate out, but let's be honest, I don't really like this plate. Even when cool, I was never able to get prints off the plate, even after it cool, pain in the butt, which is why I got a textured PEI sheet on my X2. Okay. Got everything plugged in. Okay. Let me make sure we got everything. Power, blah blah blah. Okay. So that's leveling instructions. I'll stop recording and Z-axis calibration. Mm. Okay. Let me read this and then we'll come back later.